guys. I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy from the Mermaid Cove. And um, yeah, I almost fell and then Clara screamed because that's what you have to do. And I'm okay. But my stuff symbolically can kill me, hurt me. That's when you know you have too much. So I thought, you need to take a minute. The train ride I hop on and don't hop off is not good. So I'm going to literally set my alarm to remind me to stop. So currently let me assess the situation. Number one, I need bright lights in here. So that's gotta go on my to-do list. Um, the cat bathroom is overflowing with empties. So yeah. Um, I have tons of stuff there that needs to go to the garage. I have trash. I've had a trash bag here for two years. That's going, I have recycling going. I have, um, I start a box for giveaway just to throw in. A couple of symbolic things. Um, I'll show you when I put them in the car. That's just gonna stay in my car. It's going to the Goodwill or Salvation Army Saturday. I was saving it for the kids, but nobody's gonna want that thing. At the time, Zachy has a house. He's not gonna want it. Um, and it's just, I gotta let it go. Just, it's got some stuff in here. It's got energy, y'all. So, goals. This table clear, this other, and this other. So, but first, I want to bring as many books over there, journals and stuff that I do want to work on, um, that I want to keep in the house, and then start the ones I don't need in the house. I'm going to work on that next. And then um, I am going to pull my car around, unload what I already have, I still want to do it in a way I can park in the garage. Um, so I have a couple areas. Again, there's one thing I would like to go through to just let stuff go. All that's going to go. Then I'll probably eat. Right. And then I'm going to come and put my pezzes away. So I have this really, I'll take you with me for that. In theory, what I'd like to do, I have to think about it, is I have two of these um, crate and barrel display things. Well, it's just my pez to be there. So I have a thing of little things I've been collecting. I would just like those to go to the garage because I want them all together and I'm going to sort them by color one day. But do I have that in me today? One step at a time, you know, the horse, the boy, or the boy, the horse, the mole, the fox story, you know, um, I saw someone on Instagram and, you know, I'm going to find my copy and I think I'll share a couple pages with you every day. It's just lovely. But um, basically the boy and the horse are in the woods and the boy says, I'm scared because I can't see the way out. And the horse says, can you see your next step? Boy says, yes, because that's all you focus on is your next step. Not getting out of the forest, but my next step. So, and I'm good at that. And even in my head though, I have it a, a master plan and an ending. Okay, 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 okay. It's a lot of emotion to come up. I think this is incredibly symbolic, this letting go of stuff. And whether I give art stuff to people who are going to use it and, or Goodwill Salvation Army sells it to help people and maybe someone who, you know, likes some art supplies, can't afford them, but can get them at the Goodwill. So I've really got to, I got to, I feel like crying. I got to change my thinking on this, y'all. And it's hurting my heart. It's hurting my heart. Joe is, you know, you have people in your life. It's not like you're going to have dinner together or you're going to be over their house on holidays or something happens to you, you pick up the phone and call them. But they have a meaning to you and you don't really even understand it until it's gone. Like I said, she's one of the, another connection to my mother gone. It's a little hard. But I'm going to push through, like I said, gently. Um... I'm gonna push through. So I thought I'd sit down, have some water. You know, I'm sweating. 
It's the strangest thing. My BO has a weird smell. I've never had BO ever. Okay, how hard I worked out, whatever. But I'm sweating. And it's very strange. Now, my sense of smell is, smell is all mixed up, but there's a smell. And I wonder is it a medication? Is it a sign of a disease? What is that smell? It's just very strange. So that's, you know, floating around. Yeah. So I don't have my Fitbit on. I'm, I took it down to charge it. I can't find it, but it's got to be somewhere, right? Um, but I'm missing out my points. But yeah, but I do think lighting, I need, I want to, I have four globe lights. I need to get, um, what do you call it? The incandescent, not incandescent, the bright lights. So what I'll do is just take one down and go to the Home Depot or Lowe's and um, talk to someone there about it. Yeah, so I plan to be, with any at my garage, I plan to be as ruthless as I can be. Um, it's a very important process, but <clears throat> she cute. I could paint this as a ghost, right? Okay. A little bit more water. So next step. is to load up my bags and put them over there with things that I want to keep in my studio. And when that's filled up, things I'm currently working on can stay here, but the rest are going to go to the garage and decisions will be made, y'all. Decisions will be made. Um, yeah. So I wish Peter Walsh could come take everything out to like a warehouse like with like, and I could go through and just like pick 40% of it to keep. That's not going to happen. I have to be my own internal Peter Walsh. And um, like I said, well, I go through what's in the garage, get rid of it, and then take out more to the garage, get rid of it, organize it, whatever's going to happen. Um, but it's not to stuff my garage that much. I do know I love my garage, how empty it is. To my eye, not to other people's eye. In the cat bathroom, I try to make a place so I can get to the bathroom. That's my downstairs bathroom, but. All right, let's do a little bit of this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yep, that's that's how that rolled. Not to worry about it. Um, I did put shoes on. So here are a couple of things are going. The fussy librarian.com. Okay. Notes and notes. I, might, I should make a book of my notes. Anyway, that stuff is going. I have a box for that. I'm trying to make this. So I'm not going to trip. Beverly Abrams could not come in here. Okay. okay. So, watercolor paper. And then maybe I'll have, have a spot. You know. Anyway, never mind. We're just going to go. Um... This is like an old um, appointment book. So this can go out in the garage. This is um, a ledger book. Y'all, that's gold. Okay, so that is ephemera, right? That is not, I'm not gonna probably, well, I don't know, but for now, that's, I wanna know where that is. So, um, a book I've been working in, so I'm gonna keep that. So I'm going to have papers that are not used and then ones I've started on. This is, I love him. So this I'm going to put with papers that I want to use. Now, we're, for now, they're going to go here. So they're not necessarily journals. Not that they couldn't be. Because everything has a possibility. Like this. This is so cool. Look at that. You can take notes, like, to show people. That's paper. See, this is the stuff I don't need back here. Paper. Hey, girlfriend. Let me see. Clara. Hi, Clara. Say hi to everyone. She's going to get in that bag. 
things have been falling. So I, um, I fell on fabric by scream. And she comes flying. Like, what is going on here now, y'all? My friend gave me this 100 years ago. Again, I still have the note. Good paper, that's paper. And that might all end up in the garage and then I can go down. But y'all, right now the goal is to put stuff. Um, I love these smash books. Um, but now I'm gonna put it there. I don't see myself. Um, here we go, sketchbook. Gonna stay. Sketch diary. Gonna stay. So paper versus stuff I've started working with, right? So I'm gonna keep this as a plate. So Y'all, I love these smash books. Okay, so this one I've been working on. So that's gonna go. And sometimes those can be harvest harvested for um things I can use in my art. Y'all, here's a journal I made. Love this thing. So I'm going to have like things, things that, um, I've done. This is paper and like a journal itself. I want to do that separate because of the size. So this is a little pamphlet thing I made. Um, kind of cool. Let's see here. This is more paper inspiration right so that's gonna go there this is one of my books i made with tracy bastista so that's gonna go together so i don't need them right behind me this book is sad i need to i should have put more signatures and they're not tight so i might eventually just restring this but look how yummy those papers are but not today so these are rubber stamps they can stay here for now. Um, let's just start, right? Okay. Again, paper, paper, paper. So that is all got to get a spot and not behind me. Um, just a big board book that, you know, you can do art on. You can use cloth, paper, coloring books. Maybe I have to have a coloring book section, you guys. Um, let's do this one. One of my, one of my first altered books, y'all, of all these different, see this, this is, where did I see it now? I love this book. I love, anyway, what do I do with it? This thing. So this is kind of what I want to do with objects, right? These are just different pieces of paper. So I want to do it, um, <coughs> with objects and um, I'm going to do a rainbow. Again, a little pamphlet. Book lust is a big thing for the librarian world. Again, that's paper. Because now I use um, Goodreads, like every librarian, to put my stuff down. Okay, so like these are tapes and stuff. Um, they don't need to be right behind me, do they? So, so this is tricky, y'all. And I'm not even sure they need to be on something like that. I could put more of the normal tape I use, not the decorative, because I'm not always using decorative tape. So this is for heating, that's for cutting. So these are utensils. Put them right here. Put on your happy life. Again. Inspiration. Papers. Just a little notepad. Okay, this can be thrown out. But they are good for, like, mixing and stuff like that. Again, this is something that could go to my garage probably. Um, it's a future project. 
one of my palettes. So I want to keep that. That's a tool. But masking tape. Again, this is for like um, grommets and stuff. My cup burn is over, y'all. But moving this desk back was Herculean. So again, this is um, paper. But they can be used as journals. Clipboard. Okay. Clipboard. That remind me of one of my lovers. So I don't know if I need to keep that. Again, this is good paper. Well, you could use it in stuff, but um, it's all these cool signs. But also, it's a good thing to paint on. And then you'll have a really cool thing. Okay, well, this is a lot of this just needs not to be here. Okay, Master Gardener book. Um, I'm not sure that I need this. Sometimes I use things like this. You glue something, and then if the pages get stuck, you don't care. Um, <clears throat> So awkward list for now. Okay, and then another table, like you're sorting out your paints, you're sorting out stuff, right? It's super cute. I could use, well, could I use one upstairs? I don't know. Could I, could I, should I, would I? See, I gotta have this shit run up stuff or I'm not gonna fall. All right, so, again, mark making, but I'm pretty sure I have enough of this kind of crap. Okay, now my bag is not full for this, for this. So let's do, um, let's just keep doing with this. This is fun. This is stuff like for art and I keep Angela back. So those are gonna be behind me somewhere. Oh, this is cool. Envelopes, again, it doesn't need to be here. I'm gonna call that like, I'm gonna have a stationary box where supplies, like, I don't know, stationary supplies, what do you call that? Clipboard, paper, again, um, paper. Your paper's a thing. This is good for notes. Um, wow, it's okay. And this is why I had to move so much stuff out. So what I'm probably going to do is get a box right now. Again, this is the uh, um, Federal Supply Service, 25 cents. I know y'all, I think I'm gonna need a box for paper for now. And I have room, Spice Girls. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Simplicity, all about what I should get rid of, okay? I'm gonna rip all those out and make a journal. Okay guys, so these are really pretty. Um, I've had these a long time, but these I will actually wanna use to make art and use pages. It's sort of slickery, so you'd have to gesso everything. But for now, I think I'm gonna keep these down here. I like them, they're very inspirational. And okay, so we have more, more paper, Bristol paper. That's good because I have these classes coming up and I need certain papers and I do not wanna go buy paper. This is a cover of um, one of my wallpaper books from my Papa. Papa John! Yeah, these are good for putting your art, look, look how cute I am. For putting your art in and hanging it. See, I got to figure out, I got to get some of my um, containers in here and start sorting all that. So this is the Call of the Wild. So this was just a book I was going to do. It's a nice size book. So this is a potential altered book. I'm going to put that in there for right now. A French book, look at that. Again, I'm sure it's papers and pictures, right? So that's to be harvested. So we have books, <coughs> magazine stuff, and then we have paper, just, you know, regular paper. So this is to draw a, a bird a day. Um, again, this is a um, planner. It's great to do art in, do practice stuff in. Um, Honestly, when I couldn't find my plan, I was going to go through and white out everything. All right, so this is just, again, ephemera pages that can be used. So I'm not sure. 
We'll take everything out, right? And this is the kind of thing just needs to be thrown in a container to be sorted later, right? So I need to get some of my containers. Um, yep, just little things I stuck in. That's fun. So I gotta think in my head. Dueling and stuff again, paper. I put in books. Y'all, I need the avalanche. Another palette. Y'all, where's my water? I'm so dehydrated, y'all. Is something wrong with me? Why is my body odor smell bad now? Like never in my life. Something's not right. Something else to worry about. But I'm gonna want all loose papers in a container with a lid. Again, palette storage. That will be another category, won't it, y'all? Again, paper and then something nice to just sort of art on. Then you have, um, again, I get that stuff like at flea markets, yard sales. A productive thing. I think this is for jewelry. Not sure. Might not need to keep it. This is potential book. Look at that. That's cool. Okay. So I need to have a place just for potential books, right? So, yeah, I love this paper, y'all. I love to do stuff with it, but it's paper, so it's going to go here. And I love this book. I've been, I worked on this book a lot. This might be fun to have behind just to do some doodling and stuff, so I'm going to leave that there. Finish on my, I mean, here we go. Collages on book covers, all kinds of interesting tidbits from my mind. Again, another project. We worked with um, Metal, Karen, Michelle. Another one I can work on. So we have to have a place for just finished. This is, um, this was Leslie Riley. So it's a board book under here. And we just started with putting down. Yeah, this light depresses me, y'all. What's going on here? Yeah, that's cool. That's a future. That's a future project. So I got to have a place for future projects that I want to work on. This was Robin Marie Smith and her style has changed so much. I had to talk with her about that. Like we had to have certain things done, but what I'd like to do now is since I'm kind of obsessed with this is actually work on that. This was Kelly Kilmer. This was all magazine stuff. Again, I can make copies of this and use it in my art or rip out pages and um, again, another calendar, which is paper. And those things are fun to practice on, create space. Again, it's like a to-do book. So, oh, I'm getting tired, you guys. I'm tired of my stuff. All right, paper. Okay, start of like a, really a junk journal, right? These are cool. So these have half page, plain half, but that's paper. The reading woman. So this is fun to harvest for good things. So that is going to be okay. See, I don't need all this behind me. Flirt, art ideas. There we go. Paper. Where am I going to put all this paper? 
That's not it. The point is to sort. Okay. I was taking a letter class. Exercise one, copycat. So we were learning different lettering. Okay, you know. So is that something I'm gonna go back to? I doubt it. One mermaid. Again, paper, art, this is you can make this whole thing into a journal. This was one of these things you got to, um, like a, a planner thing. Oh, look at that, a stencil. Cool, I'm obsessed with, I wanna start using stencils. Look at all this, I'm gonna take this off. So, All right, you're probably bored to death of this. Anyway, it's helped me to talk to you. What's happening in here? So, I don't know. I kind of feel like I want to work on that. These can go in. I have a place for that kind of stuff. This is cool. <coughs> that is fun. That is something I want to work on. Sark. Love Sark, you guys. Book. That just makes me happy. All right, you guys, you gotta go in the bag. You can't be out of the bag. And I think I'll stop with this. <clears throat> I finish these two. Again, all these cool books to work in. This had like a keep stuff, and then this fell out because I did so much to it, y'all. I like this. I kind of want to finish this. I'm going to keep this up here. I love this. Um, and again, Day Minders, $1.71 at the Goodwill because these just make great pages. And there's already something on there, right? So um, I might keep one and then do one. Keep calm and carry on. This was just notes from classes. So that's just like you guys. Again, I, you know, I just can't let go of a calendar book, apparently. There's Rachel from Shabby Chic and that. So I saw myself. Wanted to see myself. Garage. Goal, go through two boxes a week for 21 weeks. Y'all, I, I did that. That's at least 42 boxes. Okay. Made myself a little chart. This is going to be so good. It's challenging right now. It almost hurts my head. But, again, just notebooks. I just, you know, this is so ADD. I don't finish. I go to a new notebook. I'm really, really, I'm just going to have one notebook, y'all. I'm getting that prepared. This, I'm pretty sure, is quotes. No, I took everything out. So, it's just some. What you love is a sign from your higher self of what you are to do. Sanya Roman. There's a message from past Tracy. Okay, don't do that. I know you're top heavy, but okay. Oh, I got this. Love this little Italy out of hand. I have a bunch of these. Um, they're just, I've been, actually I've been using some of these, but this is, I guess I could actually alter this, like work in it. The spine's really good. I must've pulled out a lot to do that. I actually like that because that fits my thing. Okay, guys, I'm going to end here. Thank you for being with me. I feel better because I really was about to not feel good and about to <clears throat> talk myself out of doing anything because it was too much. It's too hard. But remember, the way through the forest is a step at a time. It's the only way. I appreciate it. I think I'll have the nerve to post this. But, you know, we all, I know a lot of people feel like I do, right? Um, so, I appreciate it. Um, yeah. I'll see you soon.